Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with How Do I. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot Microsoft Outlook. Now this is going to be a perspective or more from a POP3 account or from an IMAP account, but I'm going to go over some of my troubleshooting procedures that I do. I've been an IT administrator. I've been uh, dealing with Microsoft Outlook for the last 20 years. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do is come over to Microsoft Outlook. Let's say this is a machine. We're not working in a cloud. We're just working on a regular vanilla Microsoft Outlook set up here. And we're going to come over here to Outlook and we're going to go to preferences. And underneath preferences, we're going to go to accounts and we're going to use this one. And for example, we've got Ron at making software simple.net. The first thing that you want to do is Take a look at the email, make sure that the spelling is right. And now this is, for example, this is like a brand new account that you set up on a machine. Okay, there's a couple of things that you want to do to troubleshoot this. Uh, is, is you just want to verify. Sometimes I, what I like to do is, you know, copy and paste or cut and paste and make sure that the username and password is fine. Uh, the second thing you want to do is you want to test the incoming server. So coming from IT support, the first thing you want to do is make sure that the port settings are fine. Now, usually when it comes to email ports, majority of the time, the service provider is going to provide you multiple ports or at least two ports that you can work with to troubleshoot. For example, 993 and 465 on the outgoing server, port 465 might be a port that's too widely used and it might be blocked by your firewall. So one of the things that you want to ask is, okay, on the administrative side, did anyone make any firewall rule changes? If they did, is 465, port 465 and port 993 open? If not, what are the ports do I need to use? So now, see this tick box over here, override default SSL port? You can double click on override default port and just enter the port that your IT firewall administrator has given you. Now, let's say you are the IT firewall administrator. One thing that you want to do is just look at the log files. And as you send something, you want to see if it's actually being restricted or blocked in the firewall. Okay, you can come over here to more options as well. And you can select this username and password for the authentication for the incoming or the outgoing. You can set this up and, and try that. But if but most likely, if things were working and things aren't working, the first place that I would start is the hosting provider. So I would go to GoDaddy, I go to SiteGround, open a ticket and say, I've made no changes on the on the IMAP accounts. Is there something wrong with the ports or the email service? And typically you will get, okay, from what I've seen them based on experience and I've opened up many tickets is try an alternative port or their email services down for the IMAP part or the POP3. Okay, because you don't want to be making a lot of changes to a lot of your client devices in your network if it's not your issue. So that's where I'd first start. I would start at opening a ticket with GoDaddy and say, is, has anything changed? Why is my email software down on IMAP, etc.? They will probably ask you to try some different ports because a lot of times... 993 and 465 are default ports that will also get blocked out there in the internet. So you might want to try some alternative ports. And if it's not a port issue, most likely it's an issue with GoDaddy, etc. Now when it comes to setting up Microsoft 365, uh, I'm going to make another video on this. But when you connect and you've got, already got an account, your domain and those user accounts are already going to be set up. Um, you, can, you can choose to sync with Microsoft Cloud. When you enable this, you can see, and this really depends if you're using Azure and Microsoft Exchange client, then you can see, you can see it set, says coming soon. You can set up Exchange, but with Office 365, it's going to connect automatically if your account is set up because right now it's not authenticated because it doesn't notice that domain. It hasn't been set up. So I would talk to the person running Microsoft 365, or in this case, it's Office 365. But you can see this, I'm running from a, a MacBook that Microsoft Exchange is coming. So that's the first steps in troubleshooting from a, a POP3 or an IMAP account.